Hello everybody and welcome back to our tips and tricks series of Dot2 video clips. My name is Michael Quincy Stratman from Tech Support here at MA Lighting International. I hope you all came good into the new year and uh, we received some questions and some questions have been about the behavior of your fixtures. These are my fixtures and if I put them on. Why do they start here? in this position because the default values in the library for this fixture type tell them to be here but you can change that and we received like i said some questions about that people want to have that changed how can we change that and so on let's say your moving lights are not above the stage because above the stage 50 50 the middle of the ranges is fine but what if they are in the front truss and you have a fixed installation and where do you want them? You normally want them here. So if you clear your programmer, you have no playback, you want that they start here. And also, my personal meaning, I don't like that the zoom range is in the center. I like it narrow because I want to start programming and I can do that better when they are narrow. What else do we need? We need the DMX values that this takes. So... I change to DMX and you've got a button here this is normally how the DMX sheet comes up but if you press this button you can see the functions and there you can see the zoom so if the zoom is on 255 then they are narrow for position the same I want them on that position middle of the stage and that's roughly 178 tilt but I need these values to keep them in mind so next is I go to setup and I watch my fixture types these are the fixture types that I've used and I want to change this fixture type so I go to change fixture type this one and first of all as dot two can't change fixture types on board we have to export this and that's this one the symbol you can export your fixture type as the usb drive is attached the console will save this exported file to the usb drive as well as to the hard disk to the library so it will always come up with override don't worry about this override and now it was exported very good so we've exported this one to change it and now i open my fixture builder and I import the file here. Please import it. And from the USB stick, from the directory dot library, there is the one that I've exported to there and I import it here. There you can see the channel sets or DMX channels of your moving light and what was this? I wanted to have the zoom range changed and there you can see the default values so they are definited here and this was 255 255 on the zoom and on tilt it was 178 or something 178 that's all it takes. When we've export or when we export it now, we need to make sure that this has a unique name. Don't use the name you've had before. So I change the name a little bit and I'm proud of what I've done. So I choose my nickname as a manufacturer. And a little tip and trick is in mode, I always write down what I've done. So I've modificated the zoom and the tilt. Just for your understanding, just for your knowledge. That's fine. And now export to USB drive. Select the one. Drive E it was. Save to USB. And it already exists because I've done something before. Doesn't matter. Override. So it has been exported back to on PC and 3D. So I have to import it back again. So this is the import. Please import from drive USB. This is the one. Okay, look. So now I've imported it and I need to change it. 
So type into the headline, select them all, do a right mouse click or bump on the encoder and swap it against this one. There we are. And we are done. Apply all the changes. Whoops. And have a look. Clear your programmer. And now we make the check through at add, and they come up in narrow and in this position. So this was a tip and trick about how to change the default behavior of your moving lights of your fixture types in your show. Hope you like it. Stay tuned guys. That's it for today. Cheers. Bye.